Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a farming video and um, yeah, we're fixing these springs. So these are the springs on the lift arms and both of mine had broken and this video is how to fix them because they're an awful job. I hate doing them. So this is to help everyone else that also hates them and show you just what to do step by step. Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to fix the lift arm. So this piece here is broken off it. And on the far side, I've already done this one. So this one here, this piece here was damaged and this one here was damaged. So we only had the spring and a little uh, triangle piece that sits inside it. So we got to replace some parts. That's them all there. Let's take them out and see what we have. For anyone that's wondering which one I got. So this is a cat tree and it's a tree S. So the tree S means that this piece here is in like a shape of triangle. Tree FR means that this would be a long skinny piece and then only a ball at the top or a circle at the top. So that's the one I got. So this is for Landini Legend 130. Okay, so what came in the bag? A collection of roll pins. This piece here, which is what to pull. This is the thing that holds the ball in. This is the triangle piece which rotates inside. This one we'll definitely replace. That's part of the other roll pins. Spring. This one here is the piece that you will hate the most. So this goes between here, fits in there, and fits in there, all while it's in the casing. There's a little plastic piece here, and that was in here. Kind of a stupid design because by the time all this metal rotates around, and it's been shipped, and by the time you get it, it usually breaks off. It's not important, but it does help putting it back together again really easy, but it can still be done even without it. Okay, that's the Okay, so the handle up here is missing. This is what it should look like. It should fit in there, and then you, when you pull it up, this piece here will rotate in, so just like that, you can lock it up, drops back down, there's a spring at the bottom here that pulls it all tight, so um, yeah, so there's absolutely no way to do this unless I disassemble everything. So the first thing to do is there's a spring in here, we get rid of the spring by hitting the roll pin out, we'll probably replace this roll pin at the same time. And we'll get rid of the spring, which will take off all the spring pressure that's on this. Okay, so first job done, hammer and chisel. Knocked out the roll pin, which released the spring pressure. So now this is free to move around. Still a lot of clay and everything else in there. But next job is to knock this roll pin out. Okay, so nearly there. Best tip, get a WD-40 and just knock the pin forward and backwards a few times to kind of release any bit of dirt or any bit of thing that's keeping it stuck. Okay, time to hit on and knock it all the way out. Okay, so before we get too far into the video, please do subscribe. Okay, now with the two roll pins removed, there's nothing actually holding this in, apart from a load of dirt. So I'm just gonna shake it for a bit. You can see all the dirt falling at the bottom. So there's. So what do we have? We have this triangle piece, the spring, this is the lock, and this is the end of the release. So that's all I have of that. That's why it's snapped off. I have a new one of these to go back in. A new triangle piece to go back in. Oh, this way. So what happens with these is they bend just here or they can bend just here and then this or this will fall out or they can just get snapped. So I'm just going to replace everything with new hardware. So we'll replace the spring, put the spring on this and attach to this and then try to get it back in. Okay this is how it should look like, this is what I'm saying about the little plastic piece. So there should be a little like ring or a little circle that fits over this and that'll just keep it steady just when you're putting it together. It'll break up eventually, but it's not really important. We can put it together even without it, but it makes life a little bit easier if it was there. So the way to do this now is to fit the spring in first. All of this assembly has to go back in. I can probably actually disconnect that. All of this has to go back in, then reassemble it inside of here. Okay, so it's probably gonna be a lot of swearing in this video because this is the most awkward thing ever. So this goes in here, 
like this, then all of this slides in here. Okay, so <laughs> these two have to stay tight together. They have to slide in there like that. Okay, See, it's already fallen in. It's the most arcless thing ever. Right, okay, so I'll try to explain this. So you, get, you keep the two of them attached as whatever way you can. Probably use a chisel or a screwdriver to keep the pressure going that way, keep them connected. Then this slides in this way. So now you have all three of them together. Then you slide all three of them up. And this hole up here is what this little rivet goes into. And you have to get all three of them up, line the two, I think it's the inside triangle, and this one here, with this here. And then you tap this in. All while they're all still connected. So, I don't know. Might come up with an easier way of doing this, but I'll keep you Okay, so eight million attempt. So now I have the triangle piece in the middle, this piece on the outside. This one now, if you can see it there, just shoved in on this side. So there's a hole at the front, which this little rivet now has to go into. So we're going to try and pull the whole assembly up and go to the top hole and then try and line everything up. If you do this, you get the Nobel Peace Prize because <laughs> I don't know how, who invented this obviously just hates like mechanics. Okay, I'm gonna give this a go. Okay, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Who the fuck invented this? Okay, I'll give you a look. Okay, so you have the outside one. That's this hole here lined up. The next hole in that you can see, that's the triangular piece. Right, so I'm keeping pressure on this coming back towards the camera hold that in that's this piece here now I have to get the little rivet that's there and pop that in just there and try and keep everything lined up so then hold the camera okay that's that now get the chisel just give it a, maybe a little tap a little tap of the hammer just see Now give that little tap of the hammer to see if I can just send it home. Well, bollocks to it anyway. So that's it off down there. It all separated. It just, I couldn't get the rivet in. It just, I don't know, it just wouldn't line up. So I'm going to try it again. And um, unfortunately, yeah, it's the same procedure yet again. It's pull all of this assembly back out. Which way did it go? Pull all this back out. Okay, so getting stuck there. But pull this back out, reattach everything, put it back together again. Again, again, again. Aha! Aha! I got it in. Okay. <laughs> so now that. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That. It's like disarming a bomb, but you're actually arming the bomb or something. I don't know. Okay, so next thing is. Which one is it? I think it's this bottom hole here. So now. That has to go in there. Okay, now we're okay. So you can kind of see how it works. So this is, there's a roll pin that's gonna go here. And when you pull that back, it pulls it out of the way, shoves it back in. And that's gonna be locked up. So it can't, when you're obviously putting the ball in, you can keep it up there and then it'll drop back in. And okay, so I hope the spring is still there, which I think it is, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put a, Chisel in here, I've just started to hit it in here, and the chisel will hopefully keep all this assembly in line and also center the roll pin. 
so you can just see it's just sitting in there so it's not doing anything it's just holding everything in place you can drive this home and keep removing the chisel as I'm hitting it in. The most important piece. See the aluminium there, or the, the shiny piece, or the piece of steel? That's still there. Galvanized, that's the word I'm looking for. Right. Let's hammer it home because obviously you don't want the triangle piece to have fallen down, that's why. Okay, let's hammer it home. Okay, great. That's now the roll pin in. All working still. Perfect. Now, to get the spring in. And the spring has to be under tension and pulled down into this hole here and then the roll pin has to go in. Okay, so this is the technique that I've been using. Get a zip tie and get through the spring and you can put the spring down while you're hitting the roll pin from the far side. Brilliant, and that's that one done. So you can see the spring there. Okay, let's give it a test. That's it up, and knock it back down, perfect. Okay, let's try it with a cat tree ball. So lift it up. Say like we reverse back. Drop it in. Get it back in. Perfect. It's in. Then pull it up. Like that. Lift straight out. Perfect. That's a win. So there you have it, guys. That's how you fix these awful lift arms. They're absolutely brilliant. I do love them. Like they are great, but uh pain in the arse actually fix and even when i went into the shop to buy these replacement parts guys in the shop did actually say oh that is an awful job <laughs> so they even warned me before doing the job how bad it was so they even just said that's awful they, they didn't even want to know what i was doing so um yep that's them now fixed so if you like these videos don't forget to rate comment and subscribe support me in paypal in the link below as always and i will see you next time